development of quiz module on akash so i'll ask pratyush to start thank you good evening everyone today you have seen a lot of exciting projects you have seen clickers you have seen a virtual chemistry lab you have seen porting of proximity yes summer interns at iit bombay have developed a slew of exciting projects this summer and we we have one more thing to show you the last presentation for today so before we continue let's look at how technology has changed our lives it has engulfed our lives in every possible manner from letters we have come to emails from gramophone players we have come to mp3 players ipods and a host of other things and now all this is moving to the cloud and going online but one place where technology has not been leveraged to its fullest potential is in the field of education or more importantly as concerns us testing testing has been a very rigid feature if you see most of the online exams they just have just one type of question that is either single answer multiple correct or at most a multiple answer correct now this places severe restrictions on the person who is setting the paper so that's why in order to resolve this we have developed our own app which addresses the issues and gives more flexibility to the teacher ladies and gentlemen we now present you e abhyas e abhyas is a revolution in online testing it gives more flexibility to the teacher the teacher can choose from five types of questions that is single answer multiple answer numerical type match the following and matrix match and as in any online exam the correction is completely automated the student clicks submit and he gets the results instantaneously on his tablet so before i go on with the project we want to introduce to the team behind e abhyas our mentor our head dr professor deepak fatak our mentor avinash shawate and the team myself pratyush we have akash over here prabhanshu uh, kritika was not with us today and astikta so now that you know who has developed it let's move on to the app our project basically has five modules the first module is the interface for the invigilator who conducts the exam the next one is a web interface for the teacher to upload the paper set the answers tell how each question is how each question should be and for the invigilator to download the various files so that he can conduct the exam smoothly the next module is disabling the android user interface now the android user interface has a lot of extraneous stuff which distracts from the exam and it can also be detrimental in the case that the student can you know exit the app and start browsing google for answers so all those things have to be disabled the next thing is encryption the question paper the answers all these things have to be encrypted when it's going from the invigilator to the students so that anybody who tries to snoop in during the exam uh, just find some random nonsense in the packets and the last one is the answer sheet where the student actually attempts his questions on an answer sheet and all these modules are connected through a core component that's a networking component which goes be below all these components and ensures the data is transferred effectively and smoothly so to introduce the networking component i have akash here i'm going to explain how network and the quiz module works as a networking has affected most of our lives but the one which is most affected is the how the way we communicate few century back there are only two ways of communication either verbal or written but with the advancement of technology there are also ways such as written uh, text message gmail as a way of communication increase so security is also needed to enhance security different protocols are used these protocols are designed in such a way that while data is in fly uh, no one can snoop in and change the data some protocols are socket http udp like that what happens uh, at the in which later is that the all the data is readed from the files and is uh, stored in the array these data are again uh, converted into datagram packets which is uh, again uh, sent in air using http socket http socket is http protocol which is a secure reliable connection oriented protocol what happens at a tablet are these packets are assembled together and uh, in decrypted using the key sent by the invigilator at the start of the exam 
another important thing about invigilator is the front end interface as uh, we know that these akash is going to be distributed among uh, cha remote uh, areas and villages most of the uh, these invigilator are not technical person so as i if speak they are not able to handle the laptop as properly as a technical person did so interface is made in such a way that it interaction with the interface is a child play at first uh, when invigilator starts his uh, software uh, he will get a list of all the students who are going to give the exam along with their pick and name after uh, someone connects uh, with the invigilator data start transferring the connection is uh, shown by green signal after all the data packets has transferred the connection turns into blue indicating that data is transferred you can uh, start an exam now there is a start button at a corner which uh, allow in which later to start exam or stop any more new connections another another thing in which later do is evaluation of the code as the most in most of the online example as soon as you submit the answer you get the how much you got in that exam that is also done here the what is done here whenever the a student say submit the answer answer is a, using utf a, encryption is sent back to the invigilator laptop there it is evaluated and again the result is sent back on the student and result is displayed now i hand over the presentation to pratyush thank you akash now we have seen the networking part how the data packets transfer to each other and how the invigilator uses its interface to smoothly conduct the exam next we have the web interface will be explained by astika Thank you, Pratyush. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Aspekta. As the name suggests, web interface. It is basically an interface which provides an easy interaction between the teacher as well as the invigilator. Not the direct interaction, but here the interaction is via the question and the test which the teacher uploads and the invigilator who conducts it. So, we have made a website, and here is. the look over on it this is the basic home page which will open as soon as the url is entered it has major five sections home about registration on this page the new user who wants to register himself or herself as a teacher or invigilator will come over here and register next is announcements and contact us once the user is registered he can log in after on going on the home page and if he is a teacher he is redirected to the teacher home page it has three major parts home quiz specifications and results here you are seeing a, a screenshot of quiz specifications when the teacher wants to upload any test he is asked to update what all question on which question number he is giving what type of question and the number of options which he wants to give he can choose out of five uh, various types of questions that is multiple choice single correct multiple choice multiple correct numerical answers matrix match and match the column then the next one is the number of options he can give as many number of options right now we have restricted him to the 10 uh, to the number of options 10 next is the sub qualifier section which is activated only in three types that is numerical answer where he is asked to give the number of digits after decimal next for matrix match and match the column also it, it is active where he is asked to give the uh, answers actually the uh, parts which should be there in columns after he submits uh, the quiz specifications then he is redirected to the omr sheet he submits the answer as the student will do during the test and when he is done the last section to which he is redirected is upload here he uploads his pdf which gets uploaded after getting encrypted the last section is the results once the test has been conducted he can easily click on any of his tests which he has uploaded and see who all have attempted the test and what are their scores and status if the invigilator logs in then he is redirected to the invigilator home page where the instructions are mentioned the other sections which are present here are center allotment setting arrangement down, downloads and result 
uh, in the center allotment section he has been allotted uh, a center and is displayed to him next is the sitting arrangement in which he is shown what all students the mac ids and their names which have been allotted under him next the most important section under him is the download section here he is asked to download the zip folder which contains questions question and answers key uh, connectify student list student names list and the photographs of the students under him once he downloads it he can conduct the test and finally upload the results in csv format which is visible to the teacher when he logs in thank you i hand it over to pratyush thank you astikta now we have seen how the web interface works how the teacher uploads a question paper specifies what types of questions are there and the actual uploading of the pdf and we also seen how the english letter downloads all the required files to conduct the exam smoothly next we see how the user interface on the akash tablet is disabled to conduct a fair and free exam i hand it over to prabhanshu now thank you pratyush good evening once again so uh, my module was to disable all the other application that would be running when we take a quiz if we see from a teacher perspective what a teacher want a teacher want that a student should give a fair quiz uh, since we are developing it in akash platform so we are developing an app so there may be a chances of security breach that a student goes to a net finds the answer and then uh, uh, then ticks it a correct answer so here you can see a basic layout of a akash tablet which we have now which has a notification bar and a home button with with the help of which you can switch to other applications but what we have done we have disabled this notification bar and the home button as well as the back button so that the user does not has does not have any chance of going back you can see the screenshot here the screenshot uh, which contains uh, no no status bar and the home button is also disabled but there may be chances that a user comes with an external keyboard and using the shortcuts he goes to some other web pages or other applications we have taken care for that too suppose a user goes to some other applications by by involving some tricks okay then what we have done we have given an alarm if he switches to other application other than ours then an alarm will ring in the tablet so that the invigilator will would know which tablet is doing the mischief but uh, we have taken care that when the user switches to other application his test is not submitted his timer will run accordingly just the invigilator has to go to the student and check whether what he is doing and uh, one more module was that uh, we do not need an a pdf reader installed in our tablet when we install our application we have given an inbuilt pdf reader since we are giving the uh, question paper in a pdf format so we need to read that pdf so we have given an inbuilt pdf reader so no need of requirement of an in, in pre installed pdf reader the next comes the encryption uh, since we are transferring the question paper uh, through wifi so there may be chances of snooping in there may be chances that some uh, the question paper is that uh, by other means the question paper is given to some other person and he sees the questions and answers that so what we have done we have encrypted the question paper whenever a teacher uploads the question paper we encrypt it in uh, using the aes encryption and during that encryption a key is generated uh, which would be required by the student to decrypt it using the uh, at the user interface i can show a uh, example of uh, how the encryption is done you can see a plain text it is encrypted uh, a key is generated uh, a cipher text means that is encrypted te text which would not be understood by a simple user uh, at the uh, user side or the student side when the invigilator clicks start button the key is given to that uh, the tablet and it's de it decrypts and it reads the pdf file so if a student or anyone who snoops in and gets that uh, we have actually we are converting into dot o file that is object file that is irrelevant for anyone he cannot read anything 
until and unless it is decrypted. So we have taken care of that too. So now I'll hand over mic to Pratyush. Thank you, Prabhanshu. So now we have seen how the encryption is done for the question paper and how the Android user interface is disabled so that the student cannot be mischievous. Now we look at the answer sheet. So most of the online exams, you know, they are something like this. All are the same types of questions, either single or multiple answer, and all are the same number of options. We do not restrict anything of this sort. Ours is a completely new approach. This is a sample answer sheet which the student sees. So, you can see that a question can have any number of options. You have integer type questions just like the IIT JE paper. And at the top, the photograph of the student who is attempting the exam is shown. Then there's, there are two progress bars. The first progress bar shows how much time is elapsed. So, it is a progress bar that goes smoothly, it gets updated every second and it shows how much time is elapsed in the start of the test. And the next second progress bar is questions attempted. So, it shows the student how many questions he has attempted in a completely graphical and intuitive form. And below that, we have some basic essential details over the paper, like how many marks it is, how many questions are there in the paper, and what is the duration of the exam. And to warn the student that the exam is about to end, in the last 20 minute, in the last 20 percent or last fifth of the paper, the progress bar turns red, so that the student knows that he is losing time, that he is running out of time and he needs to buck up. At the end of this, once he finishes, there is a submit test button at the bottom. Clicking on submit, submits the answers, evaluates the answers at the invigilator side and shows the marks back to the student. Now that we are showing you how the application works, there are some limitations which are always there with the first version of any application. A first limitation is that we force, we impose the demand on the invigilator's laptop that he has to use Connectify. Connectify is a software which makes a Windows 7 laptop into a hotspot and also Windows Vista, but the reliability is questionable. So, once this invigilator makes this laptop into a hotspot, he gives the hotspot a name and the student can easily connect to that network. One advantage is that some schools including our own IIT Bombay like KR Wi-Fi they use WEP 802.1x type Wi-Fi networks, which the Akash tablet or any Android device is unable to connect. The OS itself is not designed to connect to that. Connectify creates a secure WP2 PSK network, which any Android device, any device on this planet can connect to. So, that is one advantage. But yes, it comes at a cost that we impose Connectify. So, in future versions, it can be that if the school router is configured properly, then we can allow the students and the invigilator to connect to that common network and run the exam. But right now, we impose Connectify. The next one is that of the server at the back end. So, what actually happens is that when the invigilator uploads the files, it is supposed to create a folder called uploads on the server at the back end, which only the system administrator can see. So, this folder does not get created the first time. So, this the in administrator has to manually create a folder called uploads in the root directory the first time. So, future versions we can automate this, we are unable to automate it because of some bugs which we encountered. The next one is regarding the keyboard. So, if a student gets a keyboard and attaches it to his tablet using Wi Fi or any other means or Bluetooth, so then he can use some keyboard shortcuts, anything, any weird stuff, and try to exit the app. So, of course, it do ring an alarm when it tries to exit the app, but future versions of EABS can prevent this. We can lo even lock down keyboards, USB ports and everything. So, this we are not done currently. 